Hello and welcome to the channel everybody, I'm Jason Storm and in this video I'm going to be helping you design a car on iRacing using GIMP. And now that I'm making a few cars on iRacing, I thought I might as well just film it and sort of show you how to do it since I'm going to be doing it anyway. I'm going to be making another one tonight. Uh, I'm just making a few and saying which one I like better and just going with it. So tonight I'm going to make another one. I think tonight I'm going for a simple, simple design. So let me kind of show you how to start off to do a simple design. I might go with a more advanced one at another point in time, but tonight we're going simple. So I'm logging on to iRacing here. Uh, you can go up to pick what car, or what track, press on the paint and that'll give you this screen here. Now I've picked the colors that I want to go with. Now the last two creations I've made are a little bit more black and less green. However tonight I want to go with more green because more green is good. So now we're not actually going to make it in this iRacing because you can't really customize it too much other than pretty much what is here. Um, and then in the iRacing you can only put on whatever sponsors are in here and that is it. However, I want to put in my own sponsors. So I'm going to start off with a blank car and this will just give you an idea kind of what you want to go what you kind of want your car to look like uh, obviously you don't have to use these templates however with this simplistic design I'm going to go for tonight I think I'm going to go with this one here or something similar to it so we download car templates and then that will give you a file on your computer and that will look something like this a .psd file which I'm going to download GIMP which is a free editing program much like Photoshop of course you can do this on Photoshop if you have it, if you want to pay for it. Me personally, I use free products. I don't have any money. <laughs> so now that that's open, we're going to open that file we downloaded. All right, and here's the file. And the blue is our paintable area. So if you want to see a bit more of the design of the car, obviously, especially if you're wanting to put logos, then when you click the wire button, then we see the vents, the fuel tank, handles, all that a bit better. When you don't have the wire on, it's hard to tell that this is part of the rear bar. But then when you click on, hey, that looks like part of the rear bar, doesn't it? Then we've got our patterns here. When you click the C, then we have this. So we can go and untick all those other ones, because this is the one we want to choose. Simple and easy. So I'm going to go with the bucket tool over here. And then I'm going to pick a color. Now I've picked a black. I want the tops to be black. Let's go black, black, black. And then We'll probably go with the main color of green. That's not a 
good green, is it? That's really not a good green. Uh, and then yellow. Nah, I'm really not liking that green. So the reason I, I chose it's like so I've just gone and grabbed the color from this autobahn logo effectively uh, and this autobahn logo I'm designing a car that I'm going to be using to promote a business that I work for and so I'm trying to use the colors that is the autobahn logo the black the green and the yellow to try and find the best looking car with a combination of those colors. Kind of difficult. But anyway, uh, does that go together? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like that green. Grab my own green, because my green is better. Yeah, let's go with that. That's good, right? Or is that too bright? Let's just go with that. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just going with it. We're going with the flow tonight. We're just, we're just making it. Uh, let's zoom to fit in the window a bit better. Uh, mm, that's blue. That's blue. Why would you make them blue? Uh, do that that yellow we need to take out some of this red because this will ruin our car okay so now I just want to do some basic logos so we want to put this Autobahn logo on the bonnet so what I might do so go this you did it cut 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 and cut then we're going to go copy Then we're going to go back to this one, go new, go auto burn logo, go okay, and we're going to go paste, so we now got that on there, and we we'll move this, we're going to turn it around, Rotate that like a boss. Need a bit more. No, too much. Sensitive mouse. Uh, let's rotate. We want to grab this and shrink it down. Well, no, actually, let's reset that because that. You need to lock this up to keep its aspect ratio. Mm, scale that. Move that over here. Still a little bit big. So we want to shrink it a little more. Scale. And move it. Is that straight? I think so. Could be. I'm really feeling like I should go with the Autobahn green, not my custom green. <sighs> so anyway, now that we've got that in position, uh, we can go over to this floating layer and go anchor layer. So that's now on there like a boss.
And then, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do it. So I've got this, let's just plug that in. I'm going to make it the green it should be. The auto barn green. Even though it's a bit bland. Let's just see how it goes. These are the auto barn colours. So we need to once again uh, go on to here and go paste. Then we'll move that puppy down. Uh, up. And uh, shrink it. Scale. We're going to move it. Let's just put it in the middle. I'm feeling like it could be smaller. Oh, nah. But I will rotate it a wee bit. There we are. So now, of course, we have a problem with the black background. And these aren't going to stand out on the car because this colour is the same colour as that. So, what I'm going to do for a second, and only a second, is I'm going to make the green white. Yes, white. And then, I'm going to grab that colour again, whack it in there, in there there, there, and there. Grab the black, fill that in, and then what we're going to do is zoom in a bit more. And, okay, so we'll need to move this. And go grab the little lassoey thing. Let's leave a bit more of a gap this time. Okay. So let's try again. That way you've got a bit of a black background there. And I think for now, we're going to leave that as it is. Um, and I think that's probably about enough to show you the basics of editing a car in GIMP. Just remember, when you export this, turn wire off. Otherwise, the, the wire <laughs> is going to be showing on the car. So turn the wire off, and I personally am going to save as. And I'm going to export. Whoop. I'm just going to export that as a PNG. PNG is fine. So let's go export. And then we'll get out of here because we no longer need GIMP. And then we'll go to a website called tradingpaints.com, make a login, which of course I have. Then hit this little upload button and choose a file to share. We're going to grab that. We're going to open. Is that going to open? All right. Processing done. It's just for me. I don't want anyone else to grab that. 
and then we're gonna go to Mustang then we're gonna go upload and there's our preview so you can download the installer off the website to have a program on your computer and once you have the program on your computer you run it and then you'll see this little window here and so that's trading paints running in the background yeah test vehicle on track and there we have it oh no no i did my up oh, autobahn logo upside down what a catastrophe so now uh we can see Let's go. see what i'm talking about see the slight little bit of red there that's why you need to get rid of all those little colors get rid of all that look at the the great detail around those letters obviously i need to fix that up but this is just a test um, which looks okay I think that looks alright I like that I think it's my favorite so far despite being a minty green let's uh, let's change that is how you make a basic car with your own logos you can do your own design pretty easy not a problem um, I might do a more advanced version of this maybe I don't know depends if you want it if you do let me know and I'll do it but for now Thanks for watching everybody, hit that like button if you liked it, subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next video.